Okay guys, so here's the um, the hollow solid anti-explosion wheel tire for Xiaomi M365. Oh, that's a mouthful. So what can I tell about this tire um, right here? It's, well, it's a solid rubber tire. And um, the weight itself, I could definitely say it's very heavy. It's not a lightweight one, so if you're thinking that maybe these holes could make it a little bit more lighter, um, it's not the case. But I think due to the design, um, these holes will probably give it more flex and squeeze when um, there's significant weight that's um, exerting on this tire. Um, I'm, I'm actually giving it a lot of force to bend but um, I don't think I'm, I'm making any progress on, on bending this tire because it's really stiff and rigid. I think due to the fact that the holes here if you take a look um, they don't go through to the other side. See? When I actually saw this on the pictures I actually assumed that these holes go directly out on, on this other side but I don't think, well, it's, it's not the case. I think it's by design and probably to make it more rigid. So I could only assume if these go directly on the other side, then there's barely any support on, on, on each of these holes and it would bend a lot easier and would probably make the performance of our scooters terrible so another th key thing that I've noticed here is the thread on the tires um, it doesn't look like it would you know go I mean run through rain and puddles well but I could tell right now this tire is not slippery um, if you see right here I'm trying to pull my finger down through the tire and the rubber is quite sticky but not too sticky so and uh, I've also noticed that there's barely any arch on this tire if you take a look at this horizon right here um, unlike with the pneumatic tires uh, it inflates about this high but this one is a bit more flat kind of like your um, your car tires so I don't know if this will affect the performance and the endurance of the uh, scooter so we'll see in a few days um, okay let's uh, try to do some tests alright so here's the original tire that I have on my rear um, and this particular tire I've already replaced um, because the um, I've already had like about um, four punctures already and this is a new um, tire right here um, included in the um, in the box that when I purchased this scooter now I've already converted this into a tubeless one because I grew tired of replacing the tubes inside it and every time I get a puncture um, there's definitely no way I could um, keep it inflated and you know make it back home so I had it um, converted into tubeless in a vulcanizing shop where I live near where I live and if you take a look right here, I encountered a puncture. And this stapler right here has been there since this morning. And my tire is still inflated. So I think this is one of the benefits of having a tubeless tire is that when a puncture pops, I mean, um, penetrates your tire, and if it has, um, if it's too small, it's small enough, then the air barely goes out. 
unlike with the tubeless, I mean with the tube one, if there's a puncture, then it pops from within. And you get a flat tire. So this one has been there since this morning. Imagine that. So I don't know if I pull this at one out, if it will deflate. I'm not going to try that right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tests on this one. First, I'm going to let it bounce and record that and compare it with the bounce with the solid one. So and see the difference between those. All right, so see you in a bit. All right, so I've already taken out the original tire and um, I'm gonna do a drop test and um, so that we could gauge on how bouncy the pneumatic tires are and why um, pneumatic tires are still the best. So we'll see if the solid tires perform, um, if not close, to air-filled ones. Um, I haven't taken out the disc brake. Um, I don't think it will break if I drop this one. So, so I'm going to drop this as control. I'm going to drop this this high and see um, how high it will bounce. All right? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> See right there, it bounces like a basketball. And um, let me try that again. Oh. <laughs> so, still intact. There's no bent on the uh, on the disc brake, but it's definitely bouncy. And um, if you ask me, um, it actually weighs. A little bit more than the solid tire so I'm uh, kind of um, worried that the rear tire will be a lot heavier after I put on the solid tire so see you in a bit okay, so I managed to take out the original tire and I also rem removed the valve see right here and I've also removed the uh, the disc brake and what I have right here is a wok and the solid tire. So what I plan to do is boil it for about 20 minutes and hopefully it will soften up and make the insertion on the mag wheel a lot more easier. So let's do it right now. All right, so it's boiling and I'm waiting for a few minutes till um, the 20 minute counter runs out and I'm gonna fish it out using some tongs and um, hold it with a rubber mitten right here so I wish my wife won't kill me after this one so wish me luck alright good news guys um, the 20 minute boiling uh, worked quite excellently when I say excellently um, I only um, had a few um, problems trying to push it in but it was um, fairly tender and um, it went through so I didn't use any oil or any type of lubricant to put it in I just used my arms and a screwdriver a flat screwdriver just to pry it inside and with enough patience it's finally here so let's do a drop test before we insert it back okay so as you remember I dropped it from this high and let's see how it performs okay so I think we don't need to do it any more further as you can see, the, um, the rubber absorbed the impact instead of bouncing it out. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a good thing, but at least I'm not getting any punctures anymore. By the way, uh, a quick update on the, um, the airfield tires that I had before this. Uh, right after I pulled out the stapler, <laughs> air suddenly came out. So... 
I was right about that. So um, maybe I'll just convert the front tire into a tubeless one soon if I maybe if I get a another flat tire on the front. But I usually get uh, flat tires from the rear, probably because my weight is distributed at the end of the scooter deck and uh, I weigh about 85 kilos so I'm quite a heavy person so maybe that's the reason why I, I get flats often so I'll, I'll try to install it right now and um, let's do a test drive Okay guys, uh, so you've seen the tires in action and I just want to share my thoughts on it. Um, well, I usually drive from my house to my workplace uh, and it usually takes about five and a half kilometers on each end. Um, I usually drive from my house to the bus station. That's about four and a half kilometers. And then I take the bus and I drop off to the, uh, the bus stop and I drive another kilometer to my workplace. So that is my usual commute. And whenever I drive from uh, in the morning and I have 100% charge, I usually get about 72 to 70% um, battery left. And when I checked it today, I noticed that I only have 65% uh, left. So that's about 6% um, um, lesser than what I usually get during my mornings. And on my drive on the way home, unfortunately, it's sort of a holiday today since it's Valentine's and um, it's traffic everywhere and I also came home very late so I had to drive about additional two kilometers more than my usual travel back home and uh, I still get about 22% left in my uh, scooter so would I say that the battery endurance decreased I would say yes um, maybe because um, this particular tire when you when we did the drop test um, the tires absorb the impact so I guess that also contributes to um, poor, poorer performance than the stock ones um, would I say that it's it's a big a deal breaker I don't think so because I guess depending on the um, the weight of the driver remember I weigh about 85 kilos and I'm a bit of a chubby guy so if you have a very light build uh, I think the solid tires will be the best for you but if you're heavier than I am maybe 90 kilos up upwards then it will be a very rough ride um, if you drive along an asphalt road usually in the highways or the main roads the solid tires drive flawlessly um, you wouldn't even notice that you're riding on a solid tire um, so that's definitely a plus um, by the way if you don't if you didn't uh, catch my earlier recording I left the front tire uh, as a pneumatic one 
and um, the rear tire uh, into a solid one because I usually get flat tires from the rear. So I think it's a good compromise because the front tire is still pneumatic and I still get uh, better suspension than the rear. So while I'm holding the, uh, the handlebars, there's not much shake. So I think it's a great compromise. You get about 50% chance of getting a flat tire if most of your weight are being distributed in the front. But since I usually stand on the rear deck, um, majority of the, uh, the risk will be on the rear side. So since I'm riding on the solid one, I guess I won't be getting any more flats. I hope so. But in case that I do get a, fr a flat tire on the front, I'm planning to convert that, convert that to a tubeless one to, to get a better uh, suspension. With regards to, um, to, to, uh, to rides, um, I don't recommend this driving on a tiled flooring if you if you check on the b-roll um, i was driving along the walkway and that's a there's actually a bike lane but since it it is uh the the uh the the roads they have these gaps in between them uh since you're riding on a solid tire you could those particular imperfections that those get uh, magnified towards your leg and if you're standing really straight you would get the vibrations all the way to your head so if you're driving using a solid tire i recommend you slightly bend your knees so that um, your knees and your ankles will absorb more of the vibrations and the shakes so um but if you're driving on an asphalt road, then uh, it's definitely not a problem. I haven't taken this off-road. I don't drive off-road. I don't think this particular scooter is meant for driving off-road. So um, it would probably be even worse. As for recommending this tire, I definitely say 100% yes. So if you're planning to get solid tires, uh, this is one tire that I definitely recommend, mostly because it's the only solid tire that I've ever owned. But who knows, maybe I'll try out other solid tires and give you another set of video and review. So let me know in the comments if you, wanna, you want me to review those, or maybe if you have a solid tire and you don't want the stress of installing that yourself maybe send it to me and i'll do a review of it so how about that so thank you very much guys for staying with me in this video um, this video has been a labor of love and i wanted to thank uh, the guys that helped me uh, marvi my co-worker co uh, who shot the video for the b-roll uh, if you notice, my videos are very amateurish. Uh, he has more experience on this one. So maybe I'll improve on it soon. So thanks and have a great day. Bye.